and welcome back to KNF Design. If you're new here, my name is Katie. Don't forget to head down below and give me a like, that really does help my channel. And if you're new, please subscribe so we can continue crafting together and you can become part of my crafting family. Today, I had a little help from my family to make today's craft. My two little kittens, Lily and Callie, and actually even my husband helped me with today's project. We made little ornaments for these two with their paw points using salt dough. So let's start making that dough. So we have moved on to my kitchen and my husband is helping me make these salt dough ornaments. And I did half the recipe instead of the full batch, so I added a quarter of a cup of water. Now we are using salt, and it's going to be half a cup of salt. Apparently he does not do much of the cooking. <laughs> These are salt dough ornaments, so it does need quite a bit of salt. And then our last ingredient is flour, and we also need half a cup of the flour. I only needed a few ornaments since I only have two kittens that I'm doing them for, so that's why I only did half. But feel free to do the full batch or even doubling it if you have like a large family that's making these ornaments together. Um, the first time I did them, we did a full batch with my friend and I, and they were a lot of fun to make together with both of our cats that we got that year. So once we have the three ingredients together in our bowl, we're just going to mix it together with, I'm using my hands. And it doesn't take too long to mix it all together. Um, I do end up adding just a little bit more water, so add some water as needed, but make sure you mix a little bit first. Now I just took a cookie sheet and placed a piece of parchment paper on top and that's what we will be placing our ornaments on. Some of the uh, salt and things at the bottom and flour weren't quite clumping like the last was so we added uh, another, it was just half of that fourth of a cup with water. So I'm just making some balls, um, not too large, but large enough for the paw points to go on. 
as my husband is using a rolling pin to flatten out these little dough balls for us so that way they're more or less even throughout and then using a cup here to make a perfectly round circle you could use cookie cutters and in fact the first time I did these with my friend we used cookie cutters which was a lot of fun and then I'm just using a metal straw uh, to punch out a little hole where a ribbon is going to go and that's all there is to it then we'll continue making more and then we'll press in the uh, the paw prints.
So now I'll put these in the oven for 200 degrees for two to three hours till they are dry.
we will use a clear uh, glossy Mod Podge to keep all the glitter and everything sealed. You can use other sealants as well. Thanks for crafting with me and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.